Hey everybody, this is Ryan from Thurbity and I've got a little bit of a different update. I've been spending a lot of time in Revenue Cloud recently and uh, as part of that, I've been spending quite a bit of time in Omni Studio and I've learned a lot and I'm pretty excited about some of the things that I'm seeing. So one thing that I want to demo really quickly, which I think shows the power of Omni Studio is how it's compatible with Word documents and PowerPoint documents. Uh, the learning curve to get everything kind of up and set up is pretty high, but once you get it set up, it's actually even easy for a business user to update it, and I'll show you that. So I'm going to just give you a quick demo. I've got a quote here. I'm going to create an NDA document, which everybody needs to do. Um, but, you know, as part of that, you can kind of imagine how you'd create a proposal document or executable quote and so forth. So in my quote record, I've actually added just a tab called create doc. This is one way of implementing it. You could do it a number of different ways. But I, here you can see I can choose between a docx and a PowerPoint. I click next. Now I'm presented with my templates, right? So at this point in the process, is it time to do an NDA, a proposal or an executable quote? And I am going to keep it simple. I'm going to do an NDA. I can choose all different file formats. Of course, I can lock this down in the settings side. But, you know, if for some reason a rep needs to produce a, a, the actual Word document, they could do it at that point. They could name the file. But just for efficiency, let's hit next. Let's see what pops up. So I've got my mutual NDA. This is just one I pulled off the internet, but you can see it, it's populating with some information, right? So it's populating with Derivity's uh, company name. It's populating with our address, but also it's pulling information from the quote itself, from the quote record, right? So the details here, I've got the account name, uh, Radiant Plumbing, I've got the address and so forth. Um, that's a very simplistic look at it. Uh, and then I could do anything from, you know, emailing it to, you know, going ahead and downloading it, attaching it to an email, or they also have accommodations to um, work with DocuSign. So here we go. You've got it here. So now I want to show you, once you have it all set up, like how easy is it to update this stuff? So I'm going to jump over to my template tab, and you can see here... I've got the template looking at a file NDA v1. I'm just going to deactivate the template. I'm going to flip over to my Word, and we should see this NDA v1. Now, let's add some text. And I don't know about you, but I've done a lot of formatting in other systems, and it can be can be really tricky because everybody builds their documents in Word document Word, and then you're trying to mimic it in another system. Here you just you upload the Word document. It's super easy. So this is critical text I'm adding. Just gonna do that. I'm gonna do a file save as. Let's just save it as a uh, version three. You can see where I've got these parameters filling in. So anybody who's done a mail merge like way back in the past, it'll look familiar. Let's replace the file with NDA v3. And I'm just going to activate this thing. And then we'll, we'll run a test and hopefully everything works out great. Let's activate it. So... Of course, there's complexity behind this, right? I've got a data mapper, I've got a data extractor, and you can see I've got those pulled up. But <clears throat> if I'm just changing the Word document or even changing tags that are in here, I don't see why, you know, a regular sales ops user wouldn't be able to do that. So I'm just going to refresh this. And let's see, when we create our NDA, if we see the new doc. Boom. Next. Jump straight to the preview. Look at that. And so of course, like this is a screen flow. 
Could it be added as a button up here that says generate NDA? Absolutely. Uh, but you can see you can see the power. Um, the uh, the workings behind it from extracting the data to transforming it, extremely powerful. The learning curve, well, it's a little bit steep to get everything set up, but uh, once it's all there, producing proposals and pricing tables and unique uh, images and five different versions of proposals is, is really cool. You can also have text show up conditionally, like, you know, if this is true, I want this text to show up. But anyway, I wanted to share that uh, quick update. Really impressed with the Omni Studio stuff. If I, uh, if I go look at, you know, the enablement uh, for users of Salesforce, like you can use it with document generation licenses. If you, of course, if you've got any of the old uh, industry stuff, right? All the industries clouds, uh, Revenue Cloud has access to Omni Studio and CPQ Plus has it as well. All right, thanks a lot.